Hi, my name is Alexis Perry and I am a registered nurse. I am actually a registered nurse in pediatrics. So I actually take care of children, anyone from a newborn all the way until about the age of 17, 18 when they become an adult. We occasionally have people that are a little bit older than that if they've been with us for a long time and are getting infusions or other things. But for the most part, it's all children. What I do for my job, I actually work at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital in Michigan. So I just work in one, um, what we would call an acute care setting. So usually for short term stays for people in the hospital. Um, I work on the sixth floor, which is considered like a general med surge um, and neurology floor. So we can see a wide range of anything from like issues that people have like with seizures and stuff with their brain all the way until things with respiratory illnesses or people who come back from surgery. We see a whole range of things when we are working on our floor. Um, so with my job, we do different things such as we'll listen to your heart and lungs. We take a lot of what we call vital signs, checking your temperature and your blood pressure. Uh, we make sure that you're staying hydrated and you have enough fluid in your body, making sure that you aren't developing any more increased infection. We are constantly assessing um, you to make sure that you don't need additional care or care that is more intense, which we would call our intensive care unit. And we kind of are just managing all those things when you are on our unit. Um, why I like my job is I get to not only take care of patients, but I take care of their parents while they are with us also, just making sure that they feel comfortable and just educating them on what's going on with their child, uh, really making them feel comfortable and that the care that their kids are receiving um, is the best care that we can provide for them, answering any of their questions. A lot of parents are very scared when their kids are sick as well as the kids themselves. So we just really kind of focus on like a holistic, like whole family um, centered care. Um, but it's so fun to be able to take care of kids when they are sick and to make them feel better and try to make them laugh when they're going through such a hard time. Um, it's really a blessing to be able to do that for them um, and just to make them feel safe and to know that somebody else is thinking about them and wants them to get better. Um, how I got into my position in terms of education is I first got my two-year degree and you initially need a two-year degree, which we call an associate degree in nursing in order to work as a nurse. There's a couple other things that you could do without a full two-year degree and that is such as an LPN um, or even like a CNA, which is a certified nursing assistant, but those are about a step or two below what I am, which is a registered nurse. And then most facilities require you to get what we would call a bachelor's in nursing. So a total of four year degree in order to work as a registered nurse, especially in the hospital or acute care setting. We do have some people that have been grandfathered in when they were nurses for some time so that they aren't required to go back for their bachelor's degree. So I did not take the traditional four year straight route of college. I actually did my two year degree for my associate degree. And then I started working as, as a registered nurse and then did my, what we call RN to BSN degree, where it's from a registered, registered nurse to a bachelor's in science of nursing. So I was able to work and kind of pay for school during that route for me, which was really helpful um, at the time to be able to have less student debt. Um, there are different certifications that you can have depending on what area of nursing you're in. So there is a general um, certification in pediatric nursing, which I'm actually currently studying for and we'll take that exam um, here shortly. But there is um, certification in critical care, there's certification um, in different variants of whichever part, part of nursing that you are in, which is pretty neat. So mine will just be a general pediatric nursing certification um, that essentially gives me the title as a certified pediatric nurse, even though I've been working in pediatrics. And you have to have so many hours work in order to sit for the exam. Um, otherwise, experience-wise, so I, the only experience I had when I went into my job, I did work as a CNA for about six months before I started my nursing school. So in terms of nursing experience, it's really nice 
if you get into like the hospital doing a job like a nurse tech or just even doing some volunteering in like a hospital setting, which I did do for a couple months before starting some of my college education also. Um, so any of those things that can kind of get your foot in the door is really great for some experience. So until you obviously start your first job and kind of gain those couple years of experience, then it will be a lot easier for you to go from one part of nursing to another, um, which brings me up some advice that I have for anybody who's looking for a career in not necessarily just pediatric nursing, but in regular nursing is if there's a part of nursing that you don't really think is for you, I highly encourage you to still look at all the other options of nursing because the different jobs are pretty endless of different things that you can do with a registered nurse um, license. So you can do care management things if you're more on like a social work type aspect, but it's still considered in nursing. So you can help families coordinate care and when they leave the hospital and things like that. And if you don't like pediatric nursing, you can try out adult nursing or labor and delivery nursing or just any sort of realm of nursing that might interest you, which is pretty cool if you seem like you're not a good fit somewhere, but you might want to try somewhere else. So that is actually really neat that you don't get stuck doing one particular form of nursing with your degree. And then I would say the other thing is just even if it's not um, nursing, just to figure out and try a couple different things until you really enjoy what you're doing. And just remember that every day isn't going to be extremely easy. Um, so you will definitely have hard days, but if it's still something that you wake up and you're super passionate about, um, then I encourage you to keep pursuing that until you feel like you found the right fit. Um, something interesting of my job, I would say is that we work at one of, I work at one of um, the best children's hospitals, let alone in Michigan, but in the nation, which is actually really neat. So a lot of hospitals around my area actually send their children when they are unable to care for them, they transfer them to our hospital. So we are actually a very well-known hospital in our area. And there's only a few of them that we get the sicker patients in order to provide the breast care the best care for them. Um, and then I just grab my stethoscope as an example to show you guys. Um, so this is what we would use at work to be able to listen to your heart and lungs, which is two of the important things that we do for our job. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and good luck finding different things as you search for your next career.